Welcome to Extra Throttle House. I'm Tom. And I'm James. And we have already driven the new BRZ, but this was available. This is the TS. Why not have a go, right? Yeah. It's got some stuff. It's got some stuff. And, and we were just talking about this off camera. It's not that much more money for 2,650 US dollars more than the limited trim. Yeah. You get some different looking things. You've got new wheels, yep. Brembo brakes, um, STI tuned Hitachi dampers, yep. and some other aesthetic things going on in the inside. So it's you know, not that bad, honestly. Not, like if you were going to buy aftermarket a big brake kit for your car, it's that expensive. Yeah. So like, you know, that makes sense to me. Um, <laughs> there's not much else to say, really. Not, anyway, that's over. Thanks for watching. Uh, no, this is, this, is, this is an interesting car because it isn't that much more money and they've, they've tweaked enough things that maybe it will feel a little bit sharper. I'm curious, I'm curious. I, I never I thought, thought that I that, yeah. Yeah, no, I never thought that it didn't feel sharp to begin with. Well, last like, time we got in the BRZ, or BRZ, we commented on the fact that it's, it was the slightly softer feeling, nicer riding version of the 8.6. Yes, yes. So I'm wondering if, the, if with all the dampers and stuff, is that taken away from this? Because then, because then what's it got? I, I don't know. Well, what it does have that we have never experienced before is that this has eyesight, which is standard now on all the BRZs, right? Super exciting. I think it looks good. I, I think that it's a bit weird seeing STI badges on it. Yeah. Right. Even the start button has like, STI. It's, on it's it. just that's a that's a bit it's a bit much. It's a bit like the M badges on the non M cars. I, it's like if this is a turbocharged flat four, then you know, that would make sense. It would be like probably 10 grand more at that point. It'd be but, a lot more. You know, everyone's been asking that for only, only forever. This is a, this is a, a sprinkle of aftermarket and yeah. some maybe better residuals because of the fancy badge. Maybe, maybe, yeah. yeah. I say we drive it. You want to drive? You drive. In you go. Uh, I was going to do rock, paper, scissors, but if you want me to drive, I'll drive. You know, I would just beat you anyway. That's fine. You lost the last one, actually. No, I'm not sure I did. You did. Okay, so... I did have a go in this before we have push record here. Yes. So I have my own impressions, but tell me what you think. I think this is still the best way, other than a Miata, of getting into a proper sports car. Uh, at, at, yeah. At a low price. Without question, there's nothing that beats this, right? But, but is the answer to buy the TS or is it to buy an original gen BRZ for uh, like $10,000? <laughs> here's, here's the problem. Well, that's a different question. I guess. So yeah, yeah there's two questions here. Yeah. That and then TS versus normal BRZ right now. Right. The, I've, I, we've all been buyers of BRZs, all right? We've said it on many videos before. Yeah. Half the team owns or has owned a BRZ. I had a 2013. Uh, I don't know, Sport Tech something something. Right, Sport Tech, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was fantastic, but if that was it, when I wanted so bad. Had oh. there been a TS at the time, I probably would have longed for it. It's a nice yeah. little badge. I know it's upgraded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th there's yeah. desirability to the TS. There is desirability, I guess, but at the same time, I, I the B, the BRZ community is heavily a modding community. Absolutely, it's a canvas on which to mod. Right, so I, I'd be worried that if you were the guy that bought the TS, all the hardcore BRZ guys are gonna be like, bro, like, you could've just got a normal one and then put like NKPFO yeah, ones never, on it, right? It's common knowledge, you never get that money back. I guess. This is a from factory, here's one we made earlier. We've done $5,000 of mods, but it's 2650. Yeah. We're doing it mass like, produced. But bro, you could have put unequal length headers on it. This is, yeah, this is the equivalent <laughs> of the Toyota, of, of Subaru doing a big group buy. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's like it's posting in the, in the yeah. Facebook group. We're doing, guys, we're doing a huge group buy yeah, 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 for these dampers and these things. So yeah. the price has come down. That's what this is. So I did notice a couple things when I drove it. One, I don't like the steering. No, it's. I don't know why. It's not. It doesn't feel as communicative, or no, it feels a little bit, a little bit too numb, a little yeah. bit too light in the wrong circumstances. The chassis makes up for it. Like it still turns in nicely. It still feels. Oh, light. that's not it. The chassis is yeah. obviously amazing. The weight balance is, is perfect, and the low center of gravity, and the whole thing. But there's something weird going on with the steering, and BRZs have just got worse in the steering department over the years. Yes. Like a first gen BRZ 
first early years, those the steering was excellent for electric power steering, right? Suspend, but the suspension was terrible. I had a horrible ride. Oh, the suspension was terrible. Yeah, yeah, 100% it was. But this, there's something going on here. I don't know what it has to do with. I don't know if it has to do with the damper tuning or if it has to do with something to do with the fact that eyesight has been implemented in this and like maybe the steering had to be tuned differently so that yeah. eyesight could work. Off center is just, it's very light. It's very, it waits yeah. up in the corners. It waits up in the corners really, really well, but but there's no, there's no feedback. No, nothing. It's weird. And that was always the thing that this had over the Miata. I always had to sort of concede that, okay, you know, the one weakness of the Miata yeah, is that the steering yeah. is not as good. But now I think the Miata's got better steering. And this, so this is the TS. So you no need to have like nice blue stitching and stuff. You can only get this in a manual. There's no right. automatic option for this. So they know they've gone for the enthusiasts here. But Subaru are doing a few little things. Like they've got the WRX, WRX TR now, right. which is also their way of saying, oh, we threw it, we did another group buy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a few more things on this. It's not too much more money. It makes buy it one. feel like you're very second rate if you're, a, if you're an enthusiast, a Subaru enthusiast. Yeah. Uh, this is the, uh, the, the, the damping is, is interesting. I would have to back to back it with a normal. A normal one, yeah. But this feels a bit more pogoey to me on this road. Yeah, um, it is a bit more pogoey. What you mean, like porpoisey, sort of like the? Yeah, yeah, like like a yeah, like poor poor uh, like George Russell going down the straightaways. <laughs> Keeps his mouth shut. Meanwhile, Lewis Hamilton just can't stop complaining. I love Lewis Hamilton, by the way. Basically, would you get involved Forza in this? Ferrari. Would you get involved in this group buy? Would I get involved in this group buy for the TS? No, I would. No question, I would not get this car. You would just get um, a normal BRZ. I would get a normal BRZ because I know that I'm going to mod it myself anyway. Yeah. And, and I don't want to be shoehorned into their choices for dampers and whatnot. And like, I, I know how good these cars can be on a set of high quality coilovers. Right. But for track stuff, like for daily driving, yeah, yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. I wouldn't even change the stock one at all. No, the stock ones are great. For daily, they're, they're, they're perfect, right? But personally, I don't, also, I don't like, I don't like seeing the STI badge on this car, yeah. it just doesn't feel right. It's in the gauge cluster. It's, yeah, I, I see it and I think turbo. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I feel, I, I think about the SDI. I think about the WRX SDI. And it just it doesn't feel, it's not, there's not enough going on here for me for it to be, have an STI badge anywhere near it, right? You know what would have been nice, actually, is if with this STI package, the more like, you know, sporty one, why not give it a few of the upgrades so that the engine doesn't explode that all of the enthusiasts do when they go to the track? Whatever it is, I, don't, I haven't looked recently, but it's like oil coolers, yeah, that would, oil that would pan be, That would be admitting, that would be admitting that they need to fix it. Maybe, but like, I don't know. Just, you know, maybe a couple of engine upgrades, you know? Just like, just some minor stuff. I don't think there's anything wrong with getting the TS. No, this, that's my personal opinion on, the, on this yeah. thing. It's like, this, is, this is a fantastic car, right? And realistically, even though it is a TS, people are still going to mod them anyway and customize them and personalize them, right? Yeah. So, do, do what you want. I think it's cool, and it might hold its value a little bit better. Yeah. There's that. But otherwise, it's not an obviously better car. Correct. Yeah, like, give this a mirror steering. Yeah, yeah it would be... Un Unbelievable. It'd be unbelievable. Right, yeah. I just buy one. I was like, I, there's no more sports yeah. car you ever need in your life. The engine, yeah. the engine's still not quite as fun as the NDs. No, it's not. It's like, uh, yeah, uh, uh.